Hello everyone, welcome back to Eustace Crypto for another video for the Black Cox in a video. Currently it looks like we were about to go up. We kind of gone sideways from up here, reacting to this area at a level of uh, resistance. Then we come straight back down towards this support area. So let me just quickly draw a shorter resistance and support area because we did react quite a bit around up here and we have now capitulated back down or should I say retesting back down in that support area it's not the end of the world in fact if we do turn around and push away back up it could be quicker than what you expect reason why because if we one second if we look over to this area here this is nothing but green candle which means if we do come back down it could be a fairly rapid move to the downside but equally i could see it an even quicker move to the upside well as quick as this of course because it's only just one candle just dropped straight down now if this was to play out it would give me a stronger confluence that we should be able to head our way back to this level here and once that does you can quite easily add more to your bags over here and at least for the you know, it's short term, you should be expecting 43% move to the upside. So once that happens, we just need to see how we do react around this zone up here. But this pullback is quite healthy. The reason why, because if we look over here to, to the left, to the left, to the left, <laughs> Oh, that's not fun joke at all. Uh, if we look to our left, this area, it looks like it, it's got a huge like um, liquidity area, which means we could see a possible move straight back down. If we retest up back up here for the third time, which would be like one, two, and then three times, then the more times we test in certain area, then we should be able to push our way back up again, much like here as well. But every time we bounce it, we more or less bounce it back up again. So currently this is a short term uh, sideways action until we make a decision whether we go up or down. So we just need to see what happens here. If on the bearish term that we do fall down, that means our next level should be around about, sorry, I should actually zoom or expanded the uh, chart so you can see clearly for yourself if we do fall back down below the support line over here then we should be expecting oh well <laughs> then we should be expecting a continuation to the downside of around about this zone over here because we see a cluster of candles so i would create a new support line around about here oh, fuck off. I would create a new support line around about one second around about here to be fair anywhere between here here and there because once we do break back down this should be the area of new support which will bring the total percentage back down to let's have a look guys back down to roughly around about another yeah around about 44 45 percent move to the downside uh, i know it seems quite a bit if we do fall back down but remember guys these will be the best time for accumulation i know it may hurt some of you especially if you haven't taken any profit you know from you know way back over here or even there taking that profit huge move to the upside uh, as we've been pulling back down and as you're holding you know you'd be thinking oh you know why am i still holding maybe i should have sold up here there 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 truth of the matter is 
as long as you see like a bigger correction. Sometimes it's worth taking some of the profits out. Reason why? Because you can always add whenever we come back down into any of these levels over here. So that way you're actually recycling, you know, your profits. So you can have more of black cock inu uh, tokens. So whenever we do push even further up to the high, you'll be receiving a lot more rewards. That is just one strategy you can use as a hodler but i guess you know anything that goes up eventually it must come down but don't forget also bitcoin was pulling the market back down as well because it did go into its all-time high then it gone into into this gravity price before ultimately it came back down from here then it came back down and it dragged the whole entire market down causing this move over here for black cock in you see from here all the way back down to where we are now so as long as bitcoin you know holds this level and we push ourselves even a lot more higher getting back up well above that seventy three thousand dollars then i would imagine with black cock in you it would give us you know that move back up to the upside again If you zoom out from the chart, what you can see, and we can clearly see, is firstly, we are almost creating like a surrounding bottom. In fact, from here, we've been going sideways. Yes, we did pump you know, back to the upside, but then we came back down to retest it, and then we kind of gone sideways. The longer we go sideways from here, guys, then the more confidence it will give me that we should see that move back up to the top side. Of the chart and once that happens from the current price let's say if you added more to your bags here from here to there that will give you an easy 328% move to the upside but we're not looking for these small gains what you can do let's say for example we do go up by 20 by 328% you can still take some profit out depending how we react around here if we do come back down into any of the areas over here, for instance, then you can use the profit that you're taking now for Black Ox in you, reinvest it back into Black Ox in you, and that way you add more to your bags. So effectively, once we do decide to go back up again, hopefully creating even more um, high high, and then we go off to the races, then you'll be seeing a lot more profit coming into your pockets. So that will be the best strategy coming in for Black Ox in you. So right now, have no fear when it goes sideways, let's load them up. Current market cap for the Black Ox in you is around about, I know it's in um, Seoul, but using my calculator, it's roughly around about 568,000. We can very easily do more than 10x from here. In fact, let's say, for example, if we do 100x from here, that will give us uh, 58 million, so 56 million market cap. That is only if we did like 100x. That's why I can see like in a huge, huge potential also for this coin. Whether it be the first mover or the last mover, it doesn't really matter at all. You should always try to position yourself by exposing yourself to several coins, because you just don't know which one will ultimately either blow up first, or whether they all blow up at the same time, or if any one of them, by whatever reason, does decide to become a scam at least then at least you have totally exposed yourself onto all coins to a point where it might all just be a scam. Chances are there might be the odd one or two. But looking at all the marketing push and just the coins itself, I can actually see them all bringing around at least for, for the little while until you can make those you know crazy gains. So if in case Black Rock in you does go up to that 100, um, X from here, it will take the market cap to 58, so 56, I don't know why I'm saying 58, 56 um, million uh, market cap. Even if it goes to 200X from here, it's 113 million. If we go, let's say for example, 1000X 
from here that puts the market cap of 568 million guys it's not completely out of the uh, realm of cryptocurrency <laughs> we, we've seen coins you know with that such a short market cap can actually take the coins to go up by more than a thousand percent but what do you reckon do you reckon this is a s coin do you reckon that we can still make astronomical gains from black ox in you if you've been hodling have you dumped all your coins guys let me know all that in the comment and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then guys do me a favor subscribe to my channel right over here and if you'd like to check my last video check it out over here and i'll see you all in the next one Thank <laughs> you.